Exactly. Each bubble is in fact a very thin film of soap. Equal air pressure acting in all directions causes its round shape. The molecules within the thin film of the bubble hold on to each other. And as long as that bond isn't broken, we can put anything in the bubble, even other bubbles. There has got to be a trick. The trick is to cover your hands with soap in advance. Then the molecules aren't separated and the film remains intact. Please put your 3D glasses back in the seat compartment. While you've entertained yourself with your little magic trick, I've already reached the 150 pin mark. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, uh, That's not what most of you thought. Can you believe it, Pierre? 150 pins! 151 pins in a cup that was already completely full. Can you explain that, Madame Le Professeur? Well, that's a scientific explanation for almost everything. And after discussing bubbles, I think the explanation will be easier to understand. On the surface of the water in the cup, there's a sort of thin film, just like the bubbles. This film is also known as surface tension. The asymmetrical water molecules are attracted to each other like tiny magnets. Tiny, but strong. The molecules inside the glass attract each other in all directions, but the molecules at the top of the glass attract only those beside and beneath them. After all, there are no molecules above them. That's right. This attraction prevented the water from spilling, even when we dropped more and more pins into the glass. You speak the truth. This invisible 